From the Tennessee Valley Weather Center, this is your evening weather update. A lot more cloud cover across the area on this Tuesday afternoon. Here's the Arctic Air Sky Cam and the Sky Cam Network and the mid to high level clouds really increasing today. But despite that, temperatures really warm out there. We briefly hit 90 degrees for the first time at the Muscle Shoals Airport in Northwest Alabama. 87 still is the temperature in Florence in the Shoals. 82 in Lawrenceburg, 82 in Columbia, 85 for Hohenwald, Tennessee, Iuka, Mississippi, and Decatur, Alabama. Coming in at 84 in Athens and Russellville, 86 over in Savannah, Tennessee. We'll expand the view with satellite and radar composite, and you can see the clouds moving in ahead of the storm system that brings showers and thunderstorms to the area tomorrow evening and overnight. You see tornado watches up in Iowa, Illinois, and Missouri. Severe weather threat today staying well to the northwest, but we'll have the potential for a few gusty thunderstorms tomorrow evening and overnight as the cold front gets closer. Here's your hourly forecast for tonight. Not really dropping out of the mid to upper 60s for morning lows around daybreak with our gusty south wind and mostly cloudy skies. Maybe a light sprinkle or a light shower overnight or early in the morning, but most of us staying dry. And then as we head into our Wednesday, partly sunny skies, but we'll be watching the evening and overnight for a few strong thunderstorms. With respect to the Storm Prediction Center, I want to throw that out there. I will say that I think this might be a little too aggressive depend, compared to the data that we've been watching the last couple days and today with the storms moving in. But technically, there is a level three out of five risk of severe weather across parts of Middle Tennessee down to about Highway 64. South of that in the northwest Alabama here in yellow, there is a level two out of five risk of severe weather. And then south of that in North Alabama, a level one out of five. This is for Wednesday evening and overnight across our local area. The main threat is gusty straight line winds. If you're local to the area and you know what's happened the last couple Friday evenings with these significant tornado situations we've had, this is not in the same universe. This is not in the same league as the last two Friday night threats that we've had. Let me show you how the threats break down across our local area in southern middle Tennessee and northwest Alabama, northeast Mississippi. The last couple events, we had that tornado threat way up at significant near the top of the chart. You see it's low this time. Now, anytime you have a severe thunderstorm, you can never 100% completely rule out a tornado. So we're not going to have that thing at zero. However, tornado threat tomorrow night because the low level wind shear is so weak, the spin in the atmosphere is so weak, that tornado threat is as low as it can get without being zero. If there is a severe storm tomorrow evening, and we think that is a highly uncertain situation, the main threat would be gusty straight line winds and maybe a few storms with quarter size hail. I think the potential for heavy rainfall, lightning, and some localized street flooding may be the bigger situation tomorrow evening and tomorrow night, but we will be staffed here just in case because when it comes to thunderstorms, we expect the unexpected around here. We also prepare for the unexpected so that if it does occur, we're already here to cover it for you. As we head through tomorrow morning, a few spotty light showers possible, otherwise breezy south winds of 15 to 30 miles per hour through the day, partly sunny skies getting up again well up into the low to mid 80s tomorrow afternoon. A few spotty thunderstorms by the afternoon and early evening. Stronger storms back closer to the cold front late tomorrow afternoon off to our northwest. Notice tomorrow evening as the storms come through. Yeah, there's some heavy rain here, likely some gusty winds, but you don't see a big solid squall line that looks ominous. You don't see the big supercells with the hook echoes on the future radar like we saw the last two Friday nights. So these are much less intense thunderstorms than what we had in those past two events. They still need to be paid attention to, but I want to stress the difference between those two situations if you're feeling anxious about tomorrow night. This is a lower end type situation tomorrow night, and honestly, although we can't rule out anything completely, it doesn't really look like a tornado situation for our local area here in southern middle Tennessee, northwest Alabama, and northeast Mississippi. A few storms with gusty winds, yes, but does not look like a big tornado threat. I think, honestly, the heavy rain is the more likely situation as we head through the evening and overnight in the early Thursday morning before things shift out of here 
and we shift back to cooler weather for the rest of the week, but some spotty showers at times Thursday, Friday, and Saturday as we have this overrunning pattern with the front stalled out to the south and southwest winds aloft. But the good news with that even is that we're trending dry, it looks like, for Easter Sunday. Well, up into the 80s for your Wednesday and back in the low to mid 60s from Thursday all the way into the Easter weekend, but looking dry, it seems, by Easter itself. Hometown forecast for tonight, mostly cloudy skies, maybe a sprinkle or a light shower. Overnight lows between the mid-60s and near 70 degrees over southern middle Tennessee, upper 60s to near 70 overnight. So it's going to feel creepy outside in terms of it feels like severe weather, but we don't have the ingredients necessary in terms of lift, spin in the atmosphere, things like that. It takes a lot more than just feeling humid and warm outside to get severe storms. So we're quiet tonight. And then we'll watch the storms tomorrow evening, but not looking like a big severe weather situation. Low to mid 80s again tomorrow with partly sunny skies, breezy south wind. And then afternoon and evening, the thunderstorms start to move in ahead of the cold front. Behind the storms tomorrow night, we're back to cooler weather Thursday into the weekend highs in the 60s. After we get past Easter, we're back into the lower 70s by early next week. There's the latest seven day forecast. I'll be back at nine o'clock with another check of your local weather.